Hello, everybody. Perez Hilton, joined by my mother. Hi, everybody. How old are you, Mom? 64. You were born in what year? 1953. You were born in what country? Havana, Cuba. Havana is not the country, that's the city. <laughs> oh, city, Havana. Country, Cuba. <laughs> I'm just saying that to give people context as to your age and where you're from. And you grew up uh, in Cuba, but then you moved to Miami when you were 14 or 15. 15. Okay. It's 2018. Time flies. Yes. This month is Gay Pride Month. June, June is Gay Pride Month. Oh. Yes. Do you know what we're talking about in this video? Yeah. A gay carnivals. <laughs> no. I'm saying, do you know? Did I tell you before I hit oh, record? No. What we were I don't have an idea. <laughs> All right. Uh, because it's Gay Pride Month, I've seen other people, and I was inspired by them. They made videos with their parents about what it was growing up and and being gay. So I thought I would make one with you. Okay, here I am. <laughs> uh, how would you describe your relationship with me now? Oh, now he grew up. He's more mature. Uh, he has three kids. We have a good relationship. We love... Just good? Good, super good. <laughs> we love one each other and we are happy. So you love your big gay son? Yes, why not? Yes, He's all right. my first baby. Aww. You know, I would say that things have gotten better for gay people in America, definitely. Oh, yes. You know, in this country now, you can legally get married. In many states, you have protections. But still, in many other states, it's legal to get fired because of being gay. In many states, still, it's legal to discriminate against a gay couple and not let them adopt because of their sexual orientation. But when I was growing up, I would say it was harder and also, it was harder given my circumstances. So while it's gotten better, I think it's still hard in the Latino community. I remember growing up, like, I think I always knew I was gay. And when I was six years old or seven or eight, my parents sent me to therapy because they thought I was gay and to try to cure me. Do you remember this? Yes, of course. I was the one who always take you. How old was I? Around seven and a half years old. And what made you say, were you, did you think you were going to cure me? No, but to see your behavior. Because I found that out after your sister was born. You act different. You want to play with the toys. Do you want her toys? Her toys. So really, I don't even remember that. I do. Re I do remember playing you, with. You were six years old. Now I was playing with her toys. Yeah. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, to play with dolls. So uh, with Cuban, with Cuban families, the boys they don't play with dolls. I see. So because I started playing with dolls, that's why you sent me to see a therapist? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, and you were behaving behaving so hyper and <laughs> not in the school. In the school, he was great. Only his bad behavior was at home. And then how long did you send me to a therapist for? Less than a year. I went for about a year? Yeah, I, like two weeks, every two weeks. Every two weeks you would send me? Yeah, I take you. And were you in the session with me? No, it's only for little kids. You were like seven. So she, it was a doctor, a lady. And uh, she told, she tell you, Mario, please uh, draw a picture in your imagination how your family is. Uh, to play with puzzles. And I was just there with her alone. Yes. And she would then tell you things about 
what she would talk to me about or what I would tell her? Sometimes I think so, but sometimes no. She she can reserve the privilege of not telling me. Oh. So what did she tell you? That you're really, really flying colors. You were very intelligent at that age. Really intelligent. <laughs> and then why did you stop sending me? Because she told me that you don't need it anymore. That that's your behavior as a human being, as a kid, and you're not going to change. But you tried other things. You put me in judo class or karate class and around the same time, right? Yes, and I bought the uniform, the subscription, everything. And we took you to the classes. You don't want to do it. They even enrolled me in this thing called the Young Marines. I remember that. That was older. I was older then. A, a right? little bit older, like nine. Nine. And they, I hated it because they made me do physical exercises. <laughs> I was a fat kid. I didn't want to do exercise. And, and <laughs> I mean, I liked the uniform. That was fun. I liked the judo uniform too, but I didn't and like that exercises. No, no. Was Mesa the name of the of the teacher at that time? And being gay in the eighties in the it's Latino community, they would have a lot of what it, what were the thoughts of, of of adults towards gay people then? That they think that they are different than the other people. They act different. And there was AIDS then. And there was not as much education and information. Oh, no, not at all. I remember that we had some family friend or relative that had AIDS, right? Yeah. Oh, yes. We don't need to mention his name. I know. He passed out. He passed okay. away. Oh. But I would, I would hear, you know, it's like... But not in my house. He can go to my house. It's like all of these things informed me growing up and that this is why it was hard for me. And this is why I think recently when I jokingly, not jokingly said the statement about my son going to dance class, you know, it's like I really uh, struggled and it was hard for me to be and accept uh gayness in the 80s in Miami I remember this relative other relatives would not want him to come over or like there was such a lack of information but you know him because you meet him you met him in my house there was such he a, was allowed to go to my there house. was such a lack of information that back then people I, were afraid like they would if they did let him go to the house oh he can't get in the pool you can't get in the pool with the kids. They would say things like that. Oh, yeah, that's true. So at age seven or six, you thought I might be gay. When did you know? I know when we move. Can I say that when we live in the neighborhood? Well, we don't live there anymore. <laughs> okay. Uh, when, we leave, when we move to our, our new neighborhood. F from Little Havana to the new neighborhood? Yes. And how did you know? And soon, when we moved, your sister was born. Yeah. So all together, and I, I don't, I don't know. I'm a, a little bit intelligent. <laughs> <laughs> so you just figured it all out. Yeah, my, my, me, myself, and I. <laughs> and did you ever talk to my dad about it? Never in my life. Never. 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 Really? Never. Why? Because that's the way I think. If he doesn't tell me anything, I, w I didn't ask him. I did nothing And he all. never brought it up to you? Never. And he really loved me. He never brought it up? Never. Well, I don't think he would be, have been very accepting at first. But I, I would hope that over time he would become accepting. I mean, I... I think you were accepting enough at first when we had the discussion, but I'm sure you still had your reservations and fears and 
it was a different time in the 90s. I remember the conversation when my mom and I spoke about me and coming out. This is what my mom told me. She said, do you remember? That I always love you and I have to accept you the way you are. You said, you're my son and I love you no matter what. Because you're my son and I have to love you. I have. <laughs> I say it. But it's the way that you said it. Yeah. I mean, I'm thankful, though, that you didn't say, I rebuke you, I For, renounce you. Not me. Well, there were people that did that back in the day. I, I know people who did it. And, I mean, I still, it's 2018 now. It's 2018. And I still have... I won't say more than one, but I even have a family member now in this day and age that is gay, but hasn't told his family. Maybe. Not maybe, you know so. That just goes to tell you, I mean, that person is older, male or female, I won't reveal the gender. Mm -hmm. So that person is older, but they are still carrying all of this baggage and afraid to open up. I know. Out of the closet. What would you tell... Those people. No, what would you tell you 20 years ago, knowing what you know now? I will, more, I will be more open, but I'm, I think I did the right thing with you. Did, you did, no, you did. I'm just, you know, 20 years have passed. Culture has changed. I've I changed. Know. You have changed. Oh, yes, a lot. Yeah, you you are, you know, a more loving and accepting person. So, you know, if you could if you could talk to somebody, you know, maybe they're not an accepting parent. You know, maybe they live in another country where it's even harder. Maybe they're very religious. Religious communities also aren't very accepting. You know, what would you tell that mom or dad? That they have to think that that, that person if you're your boy or your girl is your son or your daughter. They can be in their own, whatever they want to do, whatever they want to be, and you have to, to accept them anyway, 100%. You don't have to, a lot of people don't. I don't know, that's the way I think. I have to, they, they are my son and my daughter, and I will accept them the way they are. Well, I haven't been to the Gay Pride Parade in a long time, but maybe if I go anytime soon, you should come with me. To what city? <laughs> L.A. Oh, they having parties here? Parade. parade. Parade, yes. I saw one in New York, in Manhattan. It was great. No, I think that one's happening this weekend, I think, or next weekend. I don't know. I'm not sure. Oh. I think it's this weekend. I think it's tomorrow or today. I don't even know. Anyways, it's coming up. Um, yeah. I'm glad. Parents, open your minds. Now, in, now, now, as my son said, we are in 2018. Be different. Open your minds and accept your family the way they are. All right. I like that. I'm sure there's still a lot more we could talk about, but I feel like that's a good place to end this conversation for now. Thank you for chatting with me, Mom, and being open. And I love you. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, I post every dang day. Hit the like button, leave a comment, share, subscribe, follow, follow my main channel, follow me on Instagram. The Perez Hilton and also Perez Hilton and get videos from me that are personalized on Cameo. And I hope to see you guys soon in person. Maybe I'll see you in Vegas. I'm there uh, from July 26th through Labor Day Sunday doing Chippendales. I'm their special host. We're going to have fun. Yes. Bye.